Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another G-Shock unboxing or review video. Today we're gonna have a look at this vintage G-Shock watch. It's really really old. I bought this watch in the used condition and before I filmed this part of the video, I actually took it out outside to film all those b-rolls and after that I washed the watch. So, the one that you're seeing today is the condition after I wash or clean it. However, the B-rolls that I'm gonna show you guys after this is the watch before I clean it. So, it's gonna look a little different. I love the way it looks better before I wash it, but I just wash it and it end up horribly not the way I imagined. All the pens just came off, all the writings in the watch face just came off, it's just horrible. But however, let's have a look on the backstory real quick so we have a rough idea how the watch look like uh, in the first place. For that, we're gonna need to bring in this book. This is the perfect Bible from G-Shock 35th Anniversary. Put this on the side now. If you want to get one of this, go to the link in the description box down below, Samurai Barrier, purchase this from Yahoo Japan Ocean or any shops at all that is from Japan. So the watch that we're gonna have a look today is down here, the DW9500BM-1SJF. I'm pretty sure the S over there stands for shine or silver. I can't be sure what it is, but if you guys look over here, this model did features a metal front over here that is glossy, shiny, and also in silver, similar with the buttons and also the buckle as well. So this watch over here is considered or released in the G Raven series. I'm pretty sure you have somehow heard about this series before since there are a bunch of G-Shock watch that was released in this series. And one of the watch that have been popular today is this guy over here and also this model over here. The rest already been dead stock or end of production. We have 8 models altogether all the way up to down here. The stealthy appearance on this series and also the lightweight of this watch making this guy really, really impressive for a beta wear or I mean for a casual daily wear if you are low on the budget because the price for this today is really really low. If you look on the retail price as well, it's just 13,000 yen. That is low enough already, but if you get this thing in use condition like the one I have right now, you can look it up in your Japan auction obviously. The price definitely gonna be lower than this depending on the condition obviously. If you own any one of this, I would really really like it if you would tag me a photo of your G-Shock watch, any one of this, to my Instagram page. I'm probably gonna be featuring you, uh, your photos in my timeline. It's gonna be very very cool to see all of these brothers gathering back, you know. Let's close this magazine and have an up close look for this G-Shock watch over here. From the sides, we're gonna have a look at this texture, three straps, buttons over there. Really, really nice. Everything in here is just resin material, including the button. They only highlighted the screws, the front ring, and the buttons. And this buckle is silver, and the rest are just resin. Both sides go to the same style of construction. The button is also easy to press. You could press the light button over there and it will glow in green colorway which is really really beautiful in my opinion and you could press the mode button down here obviously first mode will be the alarm second mode will be the countdown timer next will be a stopwatch and next go back to home time not a lot of functions though but back in the 90s this watch over here is something unique and one of the main highlights for this watch is the colorway itself the black and silver stealthy and it originally came with a matte dial finishing unlike the one you're seeing right now it's fully matte but the original pen is matte dial which makes this watch looks very very beautiful i wish i could show you guys before i wash this thing but you actually see some of the footage that i already taken before i wash it so yeah it's fair enough the watch band out here features similar style watch band on the usual g-shock watch that we got today so nothing much to say about this if this watch still came with the paint on it, it's gonna be significantly different because we rarely get a G-Shock watch today that feature a matte dial finishing on the watch band or bezel. So that's something to think about as well. I wish Casio would release some more like this because it looks really, really cool, very stealthy. Even though they have this silver part over here, it's gonna be reflecting a lot of lights at daytime. But yeah, it looks really, really nice. The band keeper is still the same. The buckle over here shows us it was made by Casio Japan down there, so it's a nice thing to see as well. 
At the bottom part, similar style of bells, texture and all those, when one other interesting part that I rarely see today is this shock absorber over here, the one on this watch. This part, the shape of it, reminds me of the GD-350 series G-Shock watch that I already unboxed on the channel as well, due to the shape of it, but the size is much smaller and also, it was locked with this screw over there and it is very very much stick into place this part is not movable so when you drop the watch the impact is gonna be absorbed very very well and then again this part is really tiny look at how it's sort of like blending with the watch band over there just popping out a little bit on the sides it's not too long so it's really really comfortable when you put this watch on your wrist right looking at the back plate we gonna have a look at Casio 2039 DW-9500 stainless steel back made in Thailand Water resistant to also 20 bar and obviously shock absorbing structure. Look at all around the buttons guard is pretty huge, popping outside. The front body is protected with this body up bezel there, sharp edges and also metal frame to protect the glass even more. The buttons it's already made out of metal, but it still have the protector over there. It's very very nice, fully protected. And again, it is black colorway. It's gonna be very very beautiful when you wear this. Let me show you guys how it wears. I'm gonna remove my titanium G-Shock Frogman over here. First thing aside, I'm wearing this. I'll show you guys how it's gonna fit on my wrist. And then we're just gonna conclude this video. All right, here it is. All right, there it is. Here is the watch, how it looks like. Obviously, it's gonna sit really, really high, but this shock absorber part over here is, I mean, it makes a huge difference to this type of watch. It makes the watch feels very comfortable. And also, since it is very lightweight, it's just barely able to feel it on hand. It's just very, very nice. Despite looking really big, it's just very comfortable. I don't know how or why. The watch band looks very similar to the recent uh, watch band that we got today, but the feels on it, this feels different. It feels softer, more comfortable. I urge you guys to try this thing out if possible. The price for this is aren't as high anyway, so why not give it a try? If you want to get one of this, try to look for this one in a better condition than the one that I have right now so you're gonna have more joyful when you wear this so this is it guys I hope you guys found this video useful informative and entertaining as well for your future reference leave a like if it does help you and also subscribe to see more G-Shock watches related contents like this coming up in the future thank you very very much for watching guys this is G-Shock high fashion channel and I'll